Welcome to a Parallel Project Training APM Project Fundamentals Qualification Podcast based on the APM Body of Knowledge 7th edition. You should be using this in conjunction with our e-learning, podcasts and potentially a tutor-led course. For more information, please visit www.parallelprojecttraining.com Hello, welcome to our Parallel Project Training Podcast with Paul Neighbour and Jan Unsdown. Hello, Jan. Hi, Paul. So we're doing the PFQ, right. seventh edition body of knowledge. All right. And we're looking at project resource management and procurement. Yes. So in here, we've got to look at define procurement within the context of projects. <laughs> define resource management lifts the different categories of resources needed for uh, a project. Right. Shall I read out the definition? Yeah, go on. Okay, so it's got definition in the book. Uh, Procurement is the process by which products and services are acquired from an external provider for incorporation into the project programme or portfolio. Yeah, the key bit about this external provider. So it's going outside your organisation to pull in external resources, which could be products or services. Yes, and of course what we have to watch as project managers or people working on projects, we need our specialists from the organisation to get involved with this. Yeah. So that means preparing a quote, yes. sorry, preparing a, a requirement, getting yes. a quote, reviewing those quotes, choosing yes. the provider who's going to work on that project. And have behalf. a contract in some sort yeah. of form. Yeah. Um, so it's define resource management. Okay, that's really understanding the resource is going to need on, on the project, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so that can be both internal and external resources, can't it? Yes, it can. Because a lot of us um, may be working within like a matrix organisation where we actually have, we actually put our time to timesheets. Yeah. Um, and also they're looking at allocation of resources. And of what we have to watch in organisations is resource bottlenecks. So we don't yeah. have enough time. And that could kick off the resource in terms of procurement. Yeah, we don't have enough people. We need to go out and get them. Yeah. Okay, so we need to look at what uh, resource management is. Right. So if you look at the definition, resource management is the acquisition. Mm-hmm. So that's getting stuff. Getting stuff. Deployment. Using it. Using it. Of internal and external resources. Yes. Required to deliver the project, program or portfolio. Yes, people on the the, the uh, podcast maybe wondering about internal resources, and of course we're going to be using typically like people. On yeah, on our own staff, or our people own staff. we employ. Yes, right, that's right. So it's the it's going out and finding the people you need to get the job done, the people that's and the equipment and materials and lots of stuff. Yes, that you need to get the job done. So the other bit is to list the different categories of resources that you need. Right, you can actually use things like reusable resources. Yes, yeah, so, consumable resources. Yeah, so let's go through those. So reusable is what. Reusable um, is things we yes we can things actually you, reuse. You the reuse scaffolding. on a That's future a project. Example, yes. Yeah, scaffolding. You put it up and take it down and use it again. Yeah, go to take it to another Machinery, job. Yes, yeah. and consumables um, are things that are absorbed into fuel. Is the best example. Yes, or you're using <laughs> bricks. I suppose no, you could reuse. No, those. bricks is a material. Okay. So bricks is delivered as part of the project. Right. So you don't. Um, you don't consume consumables. Things like paper that you print out and you use it once. Yes, or ink. Ink, Perhaps, yeah, yes. yeah, toner, cartridge, shrink. Always people say the paper, well, you have your hand over the print, the final drawings. Yes, the <laughs> so, product, so, yes. so you could say the paper that goes with the product is a material, yeah. <laughs> but the paper that you throw away in the bin is consumed. Consumed. So f- fuel is a better example of a consumable because it's you don't reuse the fuel, You don't. it's not delivered as part of the project. Right, okay. So materials is the other one. So materials is... The carpets is a material expense. Yes. Um, so is the bricks and bricks, the walls yes. and, 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 and concrete and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then expenses are things like travel and subsistence costs. Oh, we hotel, have to watch those, don't hotel we? Hotel nights, you know. Yeah, it's going first class on Virgin Airways. Yeah. yeah. And then there were type of resources: labour, human resources. Yes. So you usually have labour, materials, expenses, consumables. Anything like licences you have to watch. Overheads, other other, other yeah, costs. Overheads. Yes. Yeah, I don't know quite where you put, uh, yeah. Yes. Good. And also you have to really watch about how overheads are charged. Is it direct charge to your project or is it a a percentage or it's not covered at all? Yeah. So those would be the costs that you would see in the quotation from the customer, from the supplier. You know, they'd usually give you a cost for the equipment that you're going to use, cost for travel and subsistence, cost for day labour that they're going to use. Yes. um, A cost for any materials that they're going to sort of like... Or in our case, any exams, it's kind of exam Yeah, costs. I don't know what they are. Would they be... 
Mm, they're an expense, aren't they? They're like travel and subsistence. They're yes. Not, they're not reusable. <laughs> well, they still have to be paid for because projects <laughs> yeah. Are, so. yeah. Yes. Good. So that's resources and resource management. Thank you, Jam. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and found it informative. To find out about our training courses, e-learning or tutor-led course, please go to www.parallelprojecttraining.com. Mm-hmm.